Lang, will you see what you can do with the radio? Yes, Mr. Tom. We interrupt this program to make a special broadcast at the request of the Coast Patrol. Attention, all mariners. Attention, all mariners. A sailing ship is reported in distress about a mile and a half southeast of Point Inda and drifting toward the reef. Any vessels in that vicinity are requested to render all possible assistance. Wang, it's a rough spot to be in a night like this. Very bad, Mr. Tom. No other ships be there. No, and if they were, they couldn't do much in this storm. Another broadcast requested by the Coast Patrol. Attention, all mariners. The ship previously reported has struck the reef southeast of Point Inda and is believed to be lost. All beach residents are requested to be on the lookout for survivors from the wreck, which has been identified as the Fallow, James Dean, owner and captain. Jim Dean. I'm going down to the beach. It no good, Mr. Tom. You not got there till morning. Get a long way from here. Storm gone then, ship gone too. Look, Jim's tough. He might make it ashore, and if he does, he's going to need help. I'll be back at noon tomorrow. Jim said it was a man named Kurt Daly. Rotten shame. How well did you know Jim? Well, Jim and I were buddies during the last war, Major Conroy. I thought I knew all about him, but uh, apparently I was wrong. Why do you say that? Well, why would anyone bother to sabotage a trading ship, if it were only a trading ship? And for that matter, why should Jim want me to tell you all about it, if you're only a retired army officer relaxing on an island in the China Sea? Yes, yeah, certainly. Hello, something you like? As you apparently have guessed, I'm not exactly what I appear to be. I have a mission here concerning the Inland Province. A mission that the American government can have no official connection with. Why not? The Inland Province is a United Nations protector. 
Now, that's true, but uh, how much do you know about all this? Well, everyone knows that the natives in the interior are trying to rebel against their Khan. According to information around the waterfront, they're being supplied arms, smuggled in along this coastline. So why can't the United Nations representative acts officially to stop them? Because the stuff is being landed on this coast. Bumatra is not a member of the United Nations. It sizes up as a pretty rough job. You can't stop gun running single-handed. Oh, it's not quite as bad as that. The Bumatra Coast Patrol will act any time we have sufficient information or evidence against the smugglers. But they have no intelligence service. So we're trying to collect the information to give them. Mm-hmm. And Jim was helping you when they caught up with him, huh? That's it. And now I need someone to take his place. Meaning me? You do a lot of cruising up and down the coast. You could be places and hear things. Mm-hmm. Of course, it's only fair to remind you what happened to Jim. It's one of the reasons I'm interested, Major. Might lead me to Kurt Daly. When do I start? Do you know Dr. Wells? Yes, he's an old-timer that goes putting around on his schooner, doctoring the island natives, isn't he? Yes, he and his daughter who acts as his nurse. They're about the only medical service the natives get here. He's been collecting information for me. I had a radio report from Dr. Wells two days ago. His schooner was burned last week in the lagoon at Southeast Island. Burned? By smugglers? We believe so. He and his daughter escaped across the island to Carter's trading post. They radioed me from there. Then he barred Carter Sloop and started back. Why, well, this is no time of the year to make a trip in a small boat like that. We're due for a hurricane any day. Dr. Wells realized that. But he said he had important information he couldn't send over the air. So Jim was to meet him down the coast and bring the information back to me. I'd like you to meet Dr. Wells now that Jim can't. Where am I to meet Dr. Wells? Chart of the southeast coast. Yes. Well, we may still have some trouble. Tom Rogers might be one of Conroy's spies. I wouldn't like that, Baron. From what I've heard of Rogers, he'd be a tough man to tangle with. We may have to do more than just tangle with him if he's actually working with the Major. He'll have to be removed. That's a large order. My country is sending a full shipment of munitions to the rebels. It's got to get through to the interior. As things stand now, we have nothing to fear from the Bermatra Coast Patrol. We've got to keep it that way. I'm not arguing with you. I just said it'd be tough. Not so difficult, Kurt, but I must depend on you. I can't risk showing my hand. And Gerson can only be depended upon for direct action. Even at that, you depend on him more than I would. He don't look too bright to me. <laughs> he's not very bright. He thinks I saved his life, so he's loyal to me. You go to Roger's trading post, try to charter his schooner. Offer him a big price. If he's working with Conroy, he'll have to turn you down. And we'll make our plans accordingly. I'll be seeing you. You wait. Tom Rogers? That's right. What can I do for you? I'm promoting a trading deal. I need a ship. You got anything I could charter? Well, I charter my schooner sometimes. When do you want it? Right away. I got a big deal cooking in the outer island. I'm sorry. I'm leaving on a cruise tomorrow. Oh? Toward the big island, huh? That suits me. Maybe we can work it together. I don't think so. I follow a pretty strict schedule. Now, look, Rogers. This is a big deal. I could pay you plenty. More than you'd make in a month's trading cruise, and it'll only take a few days. I still can't do it. Why not? You trade for profit. Look, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Uh... Daly. Kirk Daly. Well, maybe some other time. Just a minute. Oh, change your mind? No, a friend of mine told me about you, Daly. Oh, who? Jim Dean. 
Just a minute, Rogers. I don't know what Dean told you. Shoot, but don't shoot straight enough. It's all right, Wang. You've probably saved my life as it is. Who are they? Well, part of that smuggling gang. In fact, Daddy was mighty anxious to charter my schooner. I don't think he wanted me to do any more sailing for the next few days without him. You go on cruise anyway? You bet I will. Wang, see if you can get the weather report, will you? Then Rogers went aboard his schooner and got underway. Set a course south along the coast. Well, then, we can assume that he's now working with Major Conroy. The question is, is he sailing to that point you saw marked on Roger's chart? And if so, why? Sorry, Barrett. I don't have my crystal ball with me. But you do have your car, and it's only an hour's drive from here. What? In this storm? In this storm. Take Gerson with you. You can watch their rendezvous point from the cliff road. We must know exactly what Conroy and his men are planning. Hurry now. Trying to read. 
League of Beaches Boys. they brought me was most important. 
Perhaps you'd better tell him about it, Miss Wells. Well, last week when we were anchored at Tanara, a trading schooner came in with an American captain and a native crew. One of the natives was an old patient of father's, and he swam over to our ship that night. He said he overheard the captain tell some visitor about a shipment of poison gas that was going to be smuggled through to the rebel natives in the interior. Did your friend hear how they planned to do it? No, all he could say was that it would be coming into this port on a steamer some night this week. You suppose the smugglers will know that customs have been tipped off? No, I'm afraid so. They know father and I had the information, and they also know we've contacted the major. Well, they won't give up easily. That we can count on. They might try to capture the ship and take the cargo off in small boats, or bribe the captain to light her down to the beach, which seems more likely. I'd like you to patrol the coast for the next few nights. I'll be glad to. I've got a two-way radio in my car, and I can start tonight. Good. Tom, could I go along with you? After all that's happened, I'd like to see this thing through. Meet me here at sundown. I'll be here. Bye, Tom. Goodbye, Major. Vivian. We don't dare land that cargo in port now. The steamer is due here tonight. Maybe we could have the captain land it somewhere else. If we could sink the ship close enough into shore, our divers could salvage the cargo. We could pull the old pirate trick, set up a couple of false range lights as decoys, head her onto the reef instead of up the channel. That's the answer. I can arrange for the regular lights to be put out of commission. And there's another storm coming in which will help. Okay, Byron. I'll rig the decoy lights as soon as it gets dark. Gerson!
reef. As soon as the storm went down, they secured it with cables. Uh -huh. Is there a watchman aboard? No, and that worries me. The smugglers could slip out, pick up their cargo before I could persuade the authorities they must take action. Might be a good idea if I rode out there and slept aboard tonight. Might be at that. The rescue crew got there too soon. They secured the ship to the top of the reef. Maybe we can go out in small boats and take our stuff off. We won't have time for that. Salvi Slug's going to start to work on her the first thing in the morning. But there's a high tide at 10 o'clock tonight. If you can cut those cables, she'll slide off the reef. Then they'll abandon her, and we can take our time diving for the munitions. OK. I'll take Gerson to help me. No, no. no I'll take my diver, Gorth. Swims like a seal, but <laughs> he's a little more than half crazy since he got his head smashed. Will he take orders? I can make him understand what to do, and he'll do just that and nothing else. So you better row out there and uh, check on the guard, see that there are none around, and then signal for him. Look, I don't want to run into the guards either. Well, go out to the reef first. If everything seems quiet, you can climb up one of the mooring lines. Steamer slipped off the reef. 
She's way down now in about 40 fathoms of water. Do you think the owners will abandon her? They might. Then the smugglers could send divers down any time they want to. And if the poison gas in that cargo falls into the hands of the rebel natives in the interior province, they might easily win their fight to break up the United Nations Protectorate. Tom, we've got to stop them. But how? The government here won't do anything about it. Ramatra isn't a member of the United Nations, and they aren't interested in what goes on in the interior. Of course. But if we can actually prove to Ramatra that there is a cargo of poison gas in that ship, they'd have to act. <laughs> Which puts it up to me. I'm to dive down and bring up enough evidence to convince them, is that it? That's what I was trying to suggest. Do you have any diving gear? No, but I can rent some. We can work it off my schooner. I hope that we includes me. What can I do to help? Well, nothing at the moment. It'll take me a little while to locate the diving gear. Suppose you meet on my schooner in a couple hours. Good. I'll drop you at your hotel. Let me know when you get back, will you? I sure will, Major. Goodbye. Bye. Kurt. Rogers just stopped in back of a diving equipment store. That's what I expected. It'll take him a little time to assemble that diving gear. I'll send Gerson to help you. He can be there in 10 minutes. You better get someone else, too. Oh, that uh, waterfront character Oli should do. Keep him busy as long as you can. He'll sure give it a try. Come on. Hey, you skipper Tom. Well, just fine, Oli. How are things with you? Bad, Tom. Mighty bad. Ain't getting too old and stove up to go to sea anymore, and it's mighty tough making a living on the beach. You know, I can believe that. What are you doing? Trying to peddle second-hand gear to you trading skippers. Say, you wouldn't be needing an extra skiff now, would you? <laughs> no, I'm pretty well equipped. Look, uh, I've got a few bucks that you can have. No, 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 I ain't asking for charity, Tom. Sure wish you'd come and see this boat I got down to the dock, though. <laughs> I could sure set a good price on it. If you couldn't use her, maybe you could tell someone else about it. I could sure get a bargain on it. <laughs> you know, Ollie, you're quite a salesman. Come on, take a look at it. Steady. There she is. This? Yeah, now I can let you have Look, that. Oli, I wouldn't have this for firewood. I'll admit she needs some uh, fixing up and maybe a little paint, but she can be fixed up, and I sure need the money. Oli, here's some money for you. Now, it's not charity. Let's just, well, let's just call it a loan. But, Tom. Oli, I don't want any part of this thing. Good. Well, I could 
your hands off that gear. Give me that gun. care of the helmet, but Roger spotted us and run us off. Then he'll fix that helmet or get another one. Go out to the cliffs above the wreck at once. I'll send Gorth out to stand by on the beach. Have him swim out right after Rogers goes down. He'll see to it that nothing is found that might cause us trouble. There, that does it. Want to use that one, Skipper? No, oh, thanks, Jake. I kind of like this job with the reserve air supply. Will you have to search the whole ship? Probably. I'm certain the stuff won't be labeled poison gas. So I'll send up a sample of each batch of cargo. If it looks like it's going to be a tough job, I'll give four pulls on the lifeline. I want you to come down and help us. Aye, right, Skipper. They're getting ready to dive. Tell Gorth to get started. Did you tell Gorth? Once. That's a signal to bring him up. It's coming in awful easy. It's been caught. Something's wrong. You better put on that other helmet and go after him. Practically down there now. Go get my rifle. About five minutes air supply left in the shoulder tank. That should be enough.
Now what? Can't do any more diving when he's there. Oh, but they can't do any diving either as long as we stick here. That's right, stalemate. So we gotta do something about it. We gotta make them believe they've driven us off. Yeah, I got it. I'll make them think they hit me. Maybe you watch that rifleman closely. And when he fires, you tell me. All right. Excuse to get out of here. Why, Tom? To see if they'll try to salvage that cargo. We'll drop down the coast and keep on the side a while and then slip back later. Let's get the sails up. They won't try to stop us from leaving. They took off in a hurry. <laughs> Good. Now we can start raising that cargo. I've arranged for a launch to take Gorth out. He'll do the diving. Where will they take the stuff? The water cave. He'll have to make several trips, of course, especially if they're interrupted. But they're to keep on working till all that gas is in the cave. You stay there and keep a check on them. Kind of dangerous keeping that gas in the cave. It's only a stopgap measure. Gas will have to be transshipped to our regular landing beach. Uh, Gorth tells me that uh, Rogers tried to get away with one of those cases labeled kerosene. If this word gets out to the Coast Patrol, they'll be on the lookout for those boxes. So I'll have the launch bring out a load of cartons to repack the gas in. Let's see, I can get hold of some light bulb cartons. Uh, yes, they'll do. All right, but if the stuff's that hot, we're taking a long chance trying to run it through. Of course we are, but it's worth the risk. The rebel natives can get hold of that gas, they'll be able to break away from their United Nations protectorate and set up an independent nation as a satellite of my country. And uh, you may rest assured that my country will not forget to reward you properly for your services. But what if the Coast Patrol's on the lookout, spots them going into the cave? Then you've got to be prepared to defend it until that gas is repacked and shipped out again. Is that uh, signal cannon still there? Yes. Then mount it on the cliff above the cave and uh, get some live shells for it. I'll set it up tonight. Over the wreck, all right. That diver looks like the man that cut my air hose. Turn the sheets to standing close to him. We'll have a look. Aye, sir. Started the salvaging. Let's get back to the harbor and pick up a faster boat. Aye, Skipper. You might try the Blue Parrot speedster. She's the fastest thing around. Good idea, Yank. We can be back out here with the Blue Parrot by daylight tomorrow. Then if they try any more salvage work, we can see where they're taking it.
Calling B. Calling B. Calling B. Calling B. Come in, Kurt. The launch went out to the wreck, but only picked up one case before Roger's schooner showed up again. Rogers didn't find the cave, did he? No, didn't even try to follow. And they're gone now. We should be able to get the rest of the gas tonight. Good. Transfer it to the light bulb cartons at once and ship it out tomorrow. Did you set up the signal cannon? Yes. Then use it if you have to. Okay. Kurt. You already shove off? All set. Get going. Everything seems to be clear. We're on our way. All right, you two, let us out of here. They're just about in range. Missing us forever. Better go overboard and swim for the beach. 